So you had a protester down on the farm the other day. What on God's green earth is this? This is my picket line. It's it's a picket fence, but uh, keep going. I may take you seriously yet. I am a member of the Villager Awareness Community for Cruel and Unnecessary Maliciousness. Or Vacuum, for short. That would explain why you suck. Uh, but keep going. Uh, mocking you is hilarious to me. We are here to protest your inhumane treatment of these villagers. Um... We? Okay, it's just me. Recruiting numbers are low. Ah. Okay, there are no recruiting numbers, but that won't stop me from protesting. Look, I even made a sign. Oh, that's lovely. Bleaker sucks. I suck. I get it. It's a vacuum pun. Oh. Now, will you stop the treatment of these villagers? No. But counter offer. Can I maybe offer you a bribe to go away? How about a dollar? And give up my righteous crusade? I'll have you know, I was raised by villagers, and some of my best friends are villagers, and it makes me sick that evil people like you can just treat poor innocent villagers like this, imprisoning them and making them work long hours grinding for your capitalist agenda. But I've got news for you, I am here to stop you, and I don't care what you do to me, because nothing will stop the storm that is coming for you and your empire. Workers of the world, unite! What about two dollars? Hmm, two dollars... Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. You're on your own. Well, that was very strange. Dude, you're telling me. As it turns out, the protester needed some extra money after trading a dollar for two quarters. The incompetent thought that two quarters was greater than one dollar. We now play poker together every other weekend. Their lack of basic understanding of math has been very profitable as of late. So long as their parents' money holds out. <laughs> You know, that, uh, that protester has made me realize I want to exploit the workforce even harder. And I'm going to show you folks at home how to exploit it as well. This beautiful contraption here is my automated wheat farm powered by one exploited worker. He hates his existence. But that's okay. So underneath this, uh, underneath that farm is a interweaving, or is just a weaving back and forth minecart. And on that minecart, I'm sorry, mine track. And on that mine track, very simply put, is a minecart with a hopper on it. Nothing too fancy. Now the way that this is set up, if I put a minecart here, it'll keep going back and forth, back and forth, along the, along the whole area of this farm. And as our farmer here, uh, breaks down wheat, it falls on the ground. You can fill up their inventory with six stacks of seeds, and they'll only ever pick up seeds. They'll never pick up the wheat. And, you know, it works pretty well. I'd say I've gotten four or five stacks total of wheat out of this thing. Uh, the first couple weeks I had it set up, it wasn't working correctly, but I've troubleshot and fixed it. Troubleshot? Troubleshot? Mm, I've troubleshot. We'll call it Troubleshot. I've Troubleshot and fixed it, and I think I got this working pretty okay. Let's go ahead and set up another one here. We'll first put a layer of dirt over top this minecart here. In the center, one, two, three, four, five, dig it out, place a, I like to put a stone stair, and put your water in there. Now the rest of this part is mostly decoration. As you can see here, I've imprisoned my, I'm sorry, I've given my worker a job here in this lovely, uh, modern apartment complex, complete with a bed, spacious views, large glass windows, all the food he can eat, although he'll never pick it up, adequate lighting, it's just mwah, chef's kiss. So we'll do much the same over here. Since 
I'm a man who likes consistency. We'll then place a composter here. Now, I'm not going to seal this up yet, because I still need to get our unwilling job participant. And we have a really fun way of doing that. It's not very fun. But I have to make this sound way more interesting than it is to generate views, likes, and comments. So it's super interesting, super fascinating. I'm going to need a sticky piston, and I'm going to need a lever. This is going to get weird. I'll put the sticky piston here. I'll put the lever next to it. And now let's go pick out our new hard worker. Now what I've discovered works really well for uh, bribing your villagers to come work for you is to promise them an... Do you mind? Jesus. Do I come into your video shoot and interrupt you? Now, what I find works best for getting a villager to come work for you is to promise them an all-expenses-paid cruise. And you pretty much just straight-up lie to them. Come on. All right. Who wants to go on a cruise? Perfect. Oop. Let me just dig out another hole there. There we go. Perfect. I'm sorry, we're not actually going on a cruise. I hope you... Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. I hope you like employment. Ha-ha! <laughs> and we're off. Get the hell out of my way. Lumbering oaf. Somewhere... Beyond the sea. Somewhere waiting for you. Unhappiness shall be part of your creed. And never again will you smile. Somewhere beyond the sea, your be. I completely lost it right there. Don't worry, Pops. We're almost there. You're going to love your new job. You're going to be severely underpaid, underappreciated. Your employer's a real jerk. Uh, basically, you're on uh, seven 24-hour shifts, uh, 365, 366 on a leap year. Air, you're going to love it. I'm just going to chill. You're just going to chill there for the time being while I seal you in. Welcome to your new job. There's a, a job block here for you. Go ahead. I promise you'll love it. There you go. That's the can-do attitude. Oh, I don't have rockets in my inventory. Let's stop the minecart here temporarily. Good. So that should be coming here... That was a lot sooner than I was expecting. Let me show you how you get this part set up. Ow! Son of a... Let me show you how you get this part set up. There we go. So you, I do find that you need to place a bed for this guy in here. Otherwise, it's kind of weird. He doesn't, like, work. 
The next thing you need to do is you need to f give him six stacks of seeds. Is he linked to the bed? Uh, we'll find out. You need to give him six stacks of seeds to fill up his inventory entirely. Again, and fill it entirely with seeds. All right, his inventory looks like it's full. We'll hoe the ground here. Ah, what a glorious morning to be exploiting the workforce. Ah, it sure is refreshing being a landowner. Now let's do a test here to make sure old Junior there is going to do his job. Land it. Nice. There we go. You want to go do your job, buddy? Want to harvest some wheat? Here, here's some wheat right here. Go on ahead. Don't be shy. Why can't you be like your brother over there? He was always the harder worker in the family. Do your job! He did it! Ah, very nice. So over time, he'll work and collect wheat. So let me show you the mechanism behind this thing. Now, I'm no engineer. Well, I do an engineer's job, but without an engineering degree, it's kind of a weird thing. I don't get it either. So let me show you the unloading mechanism I have here. So I've seen people do really cool things with like sensors to detect when the minecart's full and only then will it actually send the minecart out. But I don't know what a sensor is and I'm too lazy to figure it out. So I set up something really, really simple. Essentially, every time a minecart goes over one of these uh, hoppers, it takes a single item out of it. Now since this uh, minecart should be going back and forth constantly here, It'll take out, let's see here, one way it takes out five, the other way that's ten. We'll take out ten items every trip it takes through here. And considering how how uh, slow these farms actually grow, there'll never be more than ten items in here. I shouldn't say how slow these farms grow, but there'll never be more than ten items in here. So I'll send the hopper off on its, I'm sorry, the minecart off on its merry way. It'll do its thing, and we'll see on its return trip... I don't actually have chests in the bottom of these things. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. The hoppers will just have stuff in them. And when I click on the hopper, we can see uh, there's a dirt, there's some wheat, some wheat, and the farm is working. And you can see here, this one's doing pretty good work. Let's just do one last, let's do just a little bit of final housekeeping here. games make me look like an idiot. I know I do a good enough job of that on my own, but come on, the game could help a brother out here. Crap. Oh, gotta make sure I throw the minecart back on the rail. So, uh, nerd pull one last time. Oh, I placed it in the worst possible spot. One more time for effect. <laughs> Alright, where's a place I can push it? There we go. And this is all automated now. Honestly, I, I never really know how to end these episodes. Um, hmm. I got it. Are you at all familiar with the TV show The Sopranos? <laughs>